Alrighty, I'm starting another video here since the first one seemed to have a pretty good response. Uh, so this one is going to be mainly about how to get help in Ubuntu. Um, anyway, first I wanted to show you before I get to how to get help in Ubuntu, I want to show you uh, the Barrels desktop cube and how to make a, a cool change in it. Uh, you know, everybody has a video about Barrels desktop cube, but here's a little thing how to change something. Okay, so if you want to see how the cube works, just like hold down control alt and hit the mouse then you rotate the deal pretty neat you can have all kinds of stuff open at the same time so I got four four different uh, desktops here the thing is set to opaque and I don't have any windows jumping off of it and the sky dome I'm using is like a picture of the desert and that's it well the change I'm gonna make I just uh, heard about when I was searching a little bit and that's how to change the number of desktops so what I'm gonna do is go to uh, let's go to back to the one I was using okay and I'm gonna go to the barrel manager which is a little ruby looking icon and just double click on that to bring up the barrel settings manager and then we're gonna just go to the general options first section general and then uh, main here, it's uh, it's not like we have to go anywhere really and there's a thing here, it's called the horizontal virtual size horizontal virtual size, so I'm going to change that to 2 because I actually think 2 is a useful thing and now I'm going to do the desktop cube again, it's instant the change now I just have two desktops and which I think is a good good starting point actually for people who are uh, you know coming from one and you know if I hit control alt, hold down control alt and hit the left arrow then it'll just rotate like it's flipping the screen over, that's cool and let's change back to let's go to like six Oops. let's go to six and now we're going to see a hexagon up here so we changed to a hexagon and it doesn't really like the, this thing's called the end caps they don't really change too well but you can really turn those off I guess if you want so that's it. That's all I want to show on the barrel thing. I'm going to close it. Let me set it back to 4. And I'll quit. Okay, so what I want to do is show you how to get help in Ubuntu. And uh, so first thing to get help is, you know, go to a search engine. So I'm going to go ahead and go to, uh, first off, I'm just going to go to uh, Google. and the search engine, well I'm going to use this to find some help in Ubuntu. Let's say I want to get help on how to install Barrel. Well, well, great thing if you're trying to learn how to do something which is like a thing that many people have to do and it might be a little complicated use the word how to. So I'm going to type, first I'm going to type how to. Second I'm going to type the thing I'm talking about here which is Barrel. And then lastly since it's Ubuntu has a bunch of different uh, versions I'm using edgy eft I'm gonna type in edgy I think it's one of the smartest things they did with Ubuntu is they made sure that each version had a name that's kind of unique so when you're searching for stuff you can just use that little tag like edgy or dapper or whatever so here we see a how to on uh, how to do barrel on edgy eft and uh, this one happens to be for using uh, what is it for NVIDIA so you have to you should know what your chipset is if you're trying to install barrel I have the Intel graphics media whatever I think it's short to Intel GMA uh, so anyway using Google you know how the word how to is useful um, the name of the package and the version uh, which would be like edgy or maybe it's gonna be a feisty for feisty fawn and uh, let's see other things maybe maybe you just want to type something general like how to put on um, you know, set up a web server go to web server how to and here you get some different things here's one for um, 5.10 so we'll go back so your search engine is the first place the next thing you would do probably is if you want to be specific to Ubuntu forums and Google's not finding it, you can go to Ubuntu forums.org 
and then you can look through here for specific posts. This might be cool if you already know something about it, you can go and hang out in here and uh, answer some questions. Next, I would use uh, IRC. So with IRC, you're going to connect to uh, irc.freenode.net, I believe it is, and then you just pick a, uh, the Ubuntu room. Or you could use uh, the Kubuntu room if you use Kubuntu, the KDE version of Ubuntu. And so here I'm in this room or channel, and it's showing me all the people that are here or away. And uh, what you've got in here is a lot of knowledgeable people that don't charge anything to help you. So you just go in, uh, make some, uh, you know, ask a question, hang out for a little bit, be respectful. Um, you may get some canned responses that are like somebody will hit an exclamation mark and a word and then you'll you'll see a little thing that tells you to basically go search Google or follow a web link on it. Um, and if you know something, it's a good place to hang out and you know there's always somebody that knows less than you. There's always somebody that knows more than you, so you can uh, you can learn a little bit and, and help somebody at the same time. So that's IRC, the Ubuntu channel. And uh, I, I'm using uh, Copete here, which is uh, something I prefer to use in game. Uh, but you could use, I believe game is installed by default now. Uh, game Internet Messenger. Uh, so that's what we got there. I'm going to close that out. Close the chat. And lastly, I guess you could go find a book on Ubuntu. So maybe you do like an Amazon search for Ubuntu. And if I'm going to do this, well, the official Ubuntu book, we could check that out. There's a few different ones here. Also, just like a regular book on Linux might be helpful. I like to read the reviews. See like, uh, you know, some of the reviews on this thing. Looks pretty good. Last couple of books I bought, I haven't looked at. I just keep using Google for stuff. But anyway, that's about it this time. That's how to get help in Ubuntu. So, good luck.